Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning here today yet again to, to do a Toriko chapter review. Toriko chapter 198. Now, we are actually two chapters away from reaching the 200 chapter milestone for Toriko. So, you know, Toriko, round of applause. Because I, I noticed how Toriko is reaching 200 re real soon. Fairy Tales is, uh, is uh, reaching 300 real soon. Naruto almost at the 600 mark. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of these uh, series that I'm reading are starting to reach their milestones. But Toriko, chapter 200, so pretty good so far. This chapter, Toriko, honestly, it's like, it's weird. Because it's like, I never expected Coco and Sunny to learn food honor. And I'm like, why is that? Like, seriously, because I thought that Sunny was doing something completely different. Like, zoning out. Like, that's, I thought that he was going to do that whole entire zoning out thing but apparently i don't know and like it's it, it's also very strange too because it's like well when the hell did coco and sunny learn food on it it's like when they learn that like i'm not too sure what's going on i mean overall the, the action in this chapter was like spot the fuck on man the action in this chapter yo yo invade death i was like what the fuck is he pulling I mean, like, when this nigga was, like, mm, opens his, like, leg and, like, pounds the ground and shit just starts flying, I was like, like, what is he doing? Like, yeah, crazy. Crazy. And then Zebra. Yo. Zebra was poning Mount Turk. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I was like, yo, Zebra. Zebra was poning Mount Turtle. Poning. Mount, straight up. Poning Mount Turtle. And it was like, what the fuck is going on? So, uh, but actually this chapter also, at the end of the chapter, things got very interesting with the prospect of the one Saint Beast that, well, no, Saint Beast. I got some, on some Yu Hakusho shit. <laughs> the one four beast, because the four beast, the category four beast is actually one beast. Because I thought so. Because the way they were describing it earlier in the, like, I think it was like three chapters ago. They described the four beasts as if it was only one creature. But then we saw four actual beasts, so I assumed that it wasn't one creature. But now, no, 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 no. Apparently, those four creatures that we see, Gao, King Octopus Kong, Mount Turtle, and, and, uh, and uh, Invade Death, they're being controlled by this other creature, apparently. And this creature is apparently in the central human world, underground, 200 meters underground, just chilling. And I was like... Oh, well, I was like, well, he's already there. And there is no one else. I mean, like, 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 who else is not a member of the IGL? I mean, maybe Mansum. I'm not too sure. Maybe Mansum might be there waiting and shit. I, I, I have no idea. But, yeah, maybe Mansum. Maybe. He might be able to pull some shit out. Maybe. Because I'm, because I feel that Mansum is stronger than Toriko Zebra. I, I don't know, because Mansum, I feel so. I really do. I don't know why. I feel that Mansum has some hidden power. Oh yeah, and then of course that there is someone apparently controlling. It's weird because like it's like it's like Inception. Yeah, it's like Inception. Like it's like a controlling version of Inception, where apparently someone is behind the four saint. I mean the four beast, and the four beast is controlling these other four creatures. So it's kind of like you know like double controlling Inception going on here. But basically in this chapter. Starts off with Coco. And Coco is fading. Oh, Coco and Kiss are going off against Invade Death. And this shit was sick. Because Invade Death, what happens? Well, first of all, we realize that Invade Death so far has the highest capture level of 140. And then what happens here is that his, well, at the same time, his whiskers start to move. And, like, his head expands. And what happens is that all of a sudden he launches, like, a stream of, like, these weird little dark things. Like, they're like weird little poison dart things. And, like, they skim Kiss's feathers. And then one of Kiss's feathers, like, melts off. And then, apparently, it's dissolving poison. So, what happens is that Invade Death, his head swells up even more. And then he releases a stream. I mean, it was literally a stream of, like, poison ray arrows. And what shocked me was that I'm seeing Coco. And, apparently, he's being, like, enveloped in this shit. And then we see, like, the carcass of Kiss and Coco. And I was like, whoa, like what just happened, you know? <laughs> and actually, apparently, Coco 
That was a poison doll. I was like, oh, this motherfucker. Apparently, and, and this is where she gets weird. Because it says here that Coco, having mastering food honor, just like Toriko had, became able to produce large amounts of poison through food immersion. And I'm like, when the fuck did Master Chin teach Coco and Sunny food immersion? Like, when, when did this happen? I When the freak did this happen? I, I have no idea. I mean, I thought that Coco was going to have some, like, future, like, on some, like, future, like, prediction shit. That's what I thought. You know? On some, like, he's able to actually use the, uh, the electromagnetic waves and actually predict the future to, like, a certain degree. I thought that that was going to be his special ability. And how Sonny was going to have the, the, the what Sonny was going to have the whole entire zoning out thing. That's what I assumed. But apparently, no, no, no. Fuck that. They're all learning, they're all learning food honor now. So, it was, like, it's, it's very strange. Like, that to me is like one like that to me is like the biggest like what the fuck in this chapter. Because, you know, these two learning food honor, even though I'm pretty sure that there were no other food honor place food honor places to learn food honor. And Master Chin and the Shoker and Temple were, were like the only dudes who taught food honor. So I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's uh it's weird. It's weird. But um basically he made a poison doll. Invade Death gets like pissed off. I think I think it's pissed off. Then all of a sudden, he extends his muscular leg. And then the leg divides in, like, these tentacles with, like, a spear in the middle. Then he plunges the spear into the ground. And then all of a sudden, the ground starts to, like, expand. And, like, it explodes. And, like, all these beams of light just shoot up from the ground. I was like, yo, what is he pulling right now? Like, it was some crazy. Like, I was like, yo. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then they switch over to King Octopus Kong. And this motherfucker is nasty. And of course, Sonny agrees with me. Because this motherfucker pulled off like 18, like thousands of tentacles. At some point, I mean, basically, the fight's, the, the, the fight's going very simple. Uh, Sonny's attacking. And it's not doing shit. At some point, the King Kong, or the King Octopus Kong says, fuck this. I'm going to make like mad tentacles. And then Sonny is disgusted. He, <laughs> he is truly disgusted. So what happens, he's like, you know what, fuck this. Quinn, Quinn, using her massive body, she starts to wrap around the legs of King Octopus Kong. And then Sonny goes into like a monologue mode. He talks about how, you know, he has attained, well, after, again, after learning food honor and food immersion, she has realized that the amount of hair she has is 1 million that can extend for 300 meters and like we see his hair and it's like holy shit <laughs> yeah i'm like like, like the picture that they depict here is very cool like this panel of, of uh, sunny and we see him just like all these hairs around him like it's it's very cool like i can't like if i were watch the anime and i like, catch up to it this is a scene i'll look forward to the most like right here like just seeing him and like, all these hairs surrounding him and it's like a shit ton of hair it is a shit ton of hair, you know. I can't handle that shit, so I don't, <laughs> Yo, right here, I'm good right here. So, uh, but yeah, basically, it's a shit ton of hairs. And now he's about to go in, and he's going to take out the King Kong, or the King uh, Octopus Kong. And then we go to Zebra. And I was like, holy shit. Because Zebra, he's not fucking around, right? He's like, you know what? Yeah, man, you spit magma missiles? <laughs> voice Ryu Sagan. I was like, whoa. It was like a voice meteor shower. And he is lazing. He is completely obliterating Mount Turtle. And I was like, oh my God. And at some point he does some like, and, and then and then he does his uh, voice burst. The complete underside of Mount Turtle's chin is like, just like, you know, like he gets lifted up and shit. And then Zebra's like, well, you know, apparently voice is enough. You need a fist. And the way he cocked back, I'm like, yo, son. That's Kurgi Ren. Like, what do you do? Ah, I was like, yo, did Zera just steal Toriko shit? Is he cocking back for the Kurgi Ren? So, I don't know. He he he's gonna give him a fist. So you know, Zebra is a Zebra is like a malicious, nasty motherfucker, man. Like this guy, <laughs> yo, this guy. He's very he's very impressive. Let, let me let me put it like that. He's very impressive. And then so we get back to a scene of a uh, Rin and Komatsu, and then they finish watching the tape of uh of uh the president Ichirayu 
And he says two things. The first thing is that the four beasts aren't separate beasts, but one beast. The main body sends out four of these beasts to the human world, and usually they're different beasts, but they're being controlled by, but they're being controlled by usually like the same entity. And in other words, these guys are nothing more than four beast limbs, and they change every time. And the most important thing is that uh, someone is control. It's, it's very weird, but it's like I think that what he's trying to say here is that someone is controlling the four beasts who is controlling the four creatures that we see fighting against Tori, Coco, Sunny, and, and, and uh, Zebra. That's what I think he means. That there's some human controlling the four beasts, which I find very strange. Because it's like the last time the four beasts came was like a few thousand years ago or, or some of that. A few hundred. Yeah, yeah. Like, actually, yeah, it was like a few thousand years ago when Ichirai was like still young and shit. So it's, I don't know. Like, it's very strange. Like, who the fuck? Like, who, like, who is this person who is controlling the four beasts that is controlling the four beasts that we see today? So I don't know. But then we see a panel and then we see a panel because, wait, actually, no, it says right here. The fact is, there's someone behind the scenes controlling the four beast main body. Yeah, so basically, it's some controlling Inception shit. And then we see a panel, and the last panel is Central Human World, 200 meters underground. And then we see some weird tree root like creature. And a family is right underneath Central Human World, which means that they're fucked unless someone who is on the same level as the four Emily Kings, someone like Mansum, comes in there and starts wrecking shop. So, other than that, we may see a few million people die in the Central Human World if this tree rule like creature surfaces and starts eating shit. So, you know, but that being said, this chapter overall, it's a good chapter, but it's a very it's a very questionable chapter because it's like, you know, again, all the food honor shit. The food honor shit, I thought that, you know, was going to be Toriko's thing. Because Chin deemed Toriko. Because Chin deliberately wanted to pass on his teachings to Toriko. So it's like, when the fuck did Coco and Sunny learn the shit? And at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, well, no, no, these aren't the four beats. There's one main body. And there's someone else controlling this main body. So it's kind of like, you know, like, who has this grudge? Like, what kind of human would have a grudge for his own world, you know? So it's, it's, it's very strange. But uh, overall, it's still a good chapter. So that being said, King of Lightning, be sure to rate, comment, and, and as always, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a nice day.